Good evening, I'm Mike Brooks. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from Two Works For You. The Oklahoma State Department of Health reporting more than 1,300 new cases of COVID-19. This brings the total to 110,855. Department of Health is also reporting 19 new deaths, so we have lost 1,210 people to the virus here in Oklahoma. Across the U.S., there are more than 8.2 million confirmed cases. More than 221,000 Americans have died. And Union High School, the class of 2021 seniors, capped off their last year by signing a steel I-beam that's going to be placed in the new stadium's west side. After everything that COVID's taken away from us, to be able to simply sign a beam that'll be here forever and leave our mark is such an amazing opportunity. Demolition of the 43-year-old structure's west side began in January. The new stadium will include improved accessibility on the home side, including redesigned concessions and restrooms and some other additions. The new stadium should be open in 2021. Tulsa Transit announced it's partnering with the Tulsa County Election Board to offer a free ride home to residents voting early at One Oak Field. Early voting takes place on Thursday, October 29th and Friday the 30th from 8 in the morning until 6 p.m. And then again on Saturday the 31st from 9 to 2. On those three days, riders wearing an I Voted sticker will receive a free ride home. We do want to remind you that you can watch the final presidential debate right here on Channel 2 tomorrow night, including a new mute button they're going to be using for both candidates. Lester Holt, Savannah Guthrie, Chuck Todd, and Andrea Mitchell will be leading the special coverage. Starts at 7.30. The debate starts at 8.00. Here's a quick look at your forecast right now. A warm Thursday, a chance of rain as a cold front comes in on Friday and a nice looking weekend ahead of us. Then things really change. That's a look at some of the stories making headlines for you today. Stay with Two Works View for updates throughout the day.